Hey, what up, Shoe Tube? This is Mo Butters back on the Stone Cold Kicks channel, and we got another sick lit beater box battle for you. We got Rock'em Stockin' Kicks. And Mo Butters with the shoe supremacy in the house. So we got all these shoes and we got the links listed below in the description. If you're trying to shop for some shoes, go ahead and expand that description. Click those eBay links and shop with us. If you enjoy the channel and you're shopping for some kicks, check us out first. But we're going to get into these Soul Supremacy Beater Boxes. These are both equal cost boxes. They both cost $600. So these are pretty good boxes. $600 is usually a, you know, a nice box. It's not low end and it's not the crazy high end hard to get boxes but it's a nice little solid box 600 so we're gonna go ahead and slide into these boxes make sure you follow us on social medias instagram and all that like you say we got plenty of stuff listed stuff coming in stuff going out but stuff coming in just keep checking us out we're gonna keep it popping too as you can see definitely Let's see you got a one lucy a couple loose i got one and we do have a big giveaway coming soon, so stay tuned for that. We'll be in an upcoming video. So I'll go ahead and get it popping over here. I got some Lucy's, loose shoes, no box. Got some LeBron's. Where are these LeBron? LeBron 2's or 3's? Oh, those are 3's, bro. The LeBron 3's. The all black colorway, the bread. Um, this is like the Cavs kind of colorway, black and red. These are pretty cool. This is a nice LeBron release. This is an original. These have never been retroed yet. This is a size 10 and a half. And these are just the Lucy's no box. Pretty good condition. This is a classic yeah. for the LeBron heads. That's some good uh, material, that leather. Yeah, That's this leather real really premium, good. nice yeah. and thick. You know, these are not cheap made shoes. These no. are when LeBron was still like putting his name on the milk. Right. You know, he was not fully who he is. He wasn't the king. He wasn't King James yet. This was, yeah, you know, he was still I think those could be twos. Because they, they the twos or the threes. Because the threes had that little backward swoops with that strap. So, either way, he was, like he said, he was still getting in with Cleveland. And uh, Those are straight. I haven't seen these in a while, man. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. They're in good condition, too. So, what size are these? Ten and a half. Ten and a half. Pretty cool. Yeah, that's straight. Like he zoomed LeBron's. Them breads, Cleveland Cavs colorways, 10 and a half, Lucy's. Let me know. Well, my loose pair are some uh, Air Max. I remember you had these in a beater box and with a box. Let's see. Let's see. I yeah, got these. I got it's these like the anniversary away. colorway, but it looks like fly knit material. Yeah. What size are these? These looking pretty big. Look like looking a big like foot. My, a big four, that big size 14. But they barely rocked. You know, white a little dirty, but. These are straight loose pairs, so we kicking off with the Lucy's, no box. Um, these are decent though. Fly net soon. anniversary. Size 14. Let me know if you need them. All right. Got a little something that we don't usually see. Got, we've got some Under Armour Steph Curry's. I think this is the newest Steph Curry, like Curry threes or fours it, yeah, or something. I don't know what number. This you is know. the newest Steph's funky colorway. A little hypnotizing kind of. Steph. Kinda. Steph details on there crazy graphics got the stuff right there and the Under Armour in the back these are the good use condition <clears throat> the size is let me see it's hiding in here and these are Lucy's with no box this is another ten and a half ten and a half Lucy's UA Under Armour Steph Steph let me know if you need these <laughs> all right so so I got a couple pair of Jordans. Which way do I go? What you got? It look like size some thirteen. My size is yeah, Jordan one. Okay. Uh, no. Those Royals. I mean, this is. At least I got the highs this time. I have been getting them weak lows right. a few times. So these are the highs. These are in decent condition, though, man. A little bit of creasing on the toe box there. But other than that, these are good to go. Um, I mean, these are no release. The Royals are always hot. Size thirteen my size but i'm not keeping them or nothing like that that should be an easy so, sale that's yeah. that fire this a lot of people fire. looking for those yeah these are still these just always look straight man one of mm -hmm. the best ones black and blue so size 13 here will be the new release yeah this is the newer release so size 13 i thought i'm up top for sure that's that heat got to got to keep rolling over here we got some jump man extra set of lace of course too. small feet heat this is a size five youth, and these are the Wolf Gray Fives. Yeah, I remember I liked those when those first came out. Though, yeah, they're pretty good. These look in very good condition. They might even be brand new. I don't see any kind of really wear or dirt. That's true. 
So this one, check yeah. that out. I'm gonna check this one. Mm, I'll say these are brand new. Yeah, especially Never looking worn. at that interior. Yeah, though. inside's mint. Busting that interior open. Yep. <laughs> Bust it open. You can check it out in you there. Know it. <laughs> Pretty good. Dead stock. Wolf Gray Fives, size five. Let me know if you need them. And off. I got some Jordans too here, man. Some. Uh, 13s, I don't know which one. So. Like a new box. Oh, okay. The cherries. Size 12, size 12. So it's a newer release. And uh, these are the cherries. Good condition. Bottoms. Shadow sides. Mm -hmm. I like these. I got a pair of these at the house somewhere. I had to dig them out, but um, my size. But these are cool. I know they just came out with those blue ones that are straight too. But uh, these are classic. These were the ones Jordan's wore on the road, and he wore the, He got games at home most of the season um, during the regular season before he started wearing black shoes. But these were his road uh, colorway during the season. So these will never go out of style, man. Right. To be honest with you. So size 12. Let me double check. Not a enough box, man. So that's good. 13s are real comfortable too. They are though. So I got a couple more little pairs. Let's get these little feet heats out the way. This is a pair of little foot size five youth infrared tens. These look in very good condition. They look worn a little bit, slight creasing, like no dirt on the bottom. It's that size five youth infrared ten. Let me know. <clears throat> right, it look like I'm getting into my other boy from Jordan. Now we got Kobe. Kobe. I don't know what these are, those Kobe 10s, the purple ones. I remember when these came out, but I didn't fool with 10s too much, but these are cool. I think that's the these Persian. Be easy. So, yeah, Persian. Yeah, I didn't do the 10s too hard. I did the high 9s, though. I like those, but mm -hmm. these should be easy sell. People like Kobe's. They all great hooping shoe up, man. One of them. I think best. these are also called blackouts, even though they're all purple. But Yeah, that's true. He had some uh, Kobe 1s that were uh, purple and some black on it. And they called those blackouts. So I think it might have just extended from the ones all the way on down right. to the 10. So these, it's possible these could be called the 10. I mean the blackouts. Some dirt on the bottom. That's going to get clean. But other than that, these are in good condition. I don't size think I said 10. the size. So, yeah, double check size 10. It's reading my mind. But these, these are decent though. Especially with the purple. Like a purple. One of my favorite colors. So um, those are straight man. Size 10. Let me know if you need them. Size 10, Kobe 10s. These are pretty cool. I've had a bunch of pairs of those. They sell pretty well. Yeah. There we go. Somehow fire. One of my faves. All right. Space Jams. This is a little feed heat version. This is a size 5 Y. Got a few size 5 Y, 5 Youth. In this box, this is just a classic. And what's the condition? What's it looking like? Used, but not much. No, not much. Like, not really <clears throat> dirt, but just a little discoloration. They have been worn. Probably by a girl that kept her stuff, you know, in good condition didn't beat on them at all this is size five youth newest release of the space jam 11 right. let me know if you need these. 45 on the back yep 45 stitched in the back i prefer two three but the stitched in is pretty nice because it never wears off like the other ones right that'll have to sit on top and some all up send off box send Real off, super send -off box a little beat heat, man. Not even heat, though, but just beat. We gonna, just beat. I'm going to show you these, and we're just going to keep it moving, to be honest with you. Boom. Bottom feeders. Bottom shelfers. We're going to keep it moving. Nike. What is this? What is this? Another oh, funky. Not even sure. Never seen those before. Nike though, Air man. Max 362. Second version oh, of yeah. the Air Max 360. I think it's 360. Got this air all the way around. A whole full air unit zoom unit on the whole thing probably real nice and comfy but definitely very ugly so, yes exactly yeah, I ain't going <laughs> yeah. mx360 when did these are oh, these from 2007. and yeah, this is an old release about release. a vintage now about yeah, 10 years old they yep. looking barely rocked but he's got to be rare yeah. this is that big size 12 360 max two and these have been worn but not much worn not like much. one time might have hit the street they were like, yo, check out my new fresh 360 Zoom Air Max. Right in gold. Then they started getting gunned down. Boom, yeah. boom, boom. And they said, you know what? I'm not going to wear these no more. Nah, so that's why they're so fresh. That's why they fresh. Boom in the 
box and I'm done. You want a bottom shelf though? Yeah, we'll find a Go buyer on. for them, but until then, they're going to sit on the bottom shelf. That's cool. That's so we had a sale. couple of back-to-back shoes -back, uh, we wasn't too thrilled about. Uh, so I'm back to the Colby's, man. Uh, these were actually straight. I remember these were based off of a soccer shoe when he came out with these. Colby. Um, what size are these? 11. Size 11. Yeah, Mamba. I remember that. That's like a, a soccer name of a soccer shoe. Yeah, but they just put Mamba in front of it. So. Yeah, the Mercurial. Mercurial. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's a soccer shoe. So I do remember when these came out. So I mean, these are decent. Nice little colorway. The interior got the Nike on the inside. Um, you got the bottoms there. Yeah, if you didn't know, Kobe is a big soccer fan. Man, he goes to soccer events. Right. He's played he was a born in there. Spain, right? Yeah, he was born in Spain, so that's huge. So he's a big soccer guy. So that's where he brought that uh, his shoes towards the um, the soccer field. That's one of the reasons why he went to low tops um, when the force came out. The soccer players wear lows, and you get more speed. Um, it's less less weight on your foot. So that's why that's what inspired him to go to lows, and that's why all his shoes are lows. Um, after the fours, mm -hmm. or after the threes, I should say. Once the fours hit, hit the low. So, Kobe in with the low. But these are low straight times. though, man. Different colorway. Yeah. So let me know if you need. Some different. I've never seen them in hand. Yeah. For sure, we haven't had one in the house. So that's what's up. We got something. All them Vicks. Zoom Vic. Zoom Vic number three. Yeah, those are the threes. These are the Michael Vic number three. Michael Vic signature shoe. This is his third one. To me, that's probably the ugliest one. Yeah, the only good looking one is the black. It's all, it's black with a white. Whatever you see is white was black and then the strap was white. It was kind of cool. It kind of reminded me of that Fusion Jordan 12, except it just had that funky strap. Yeah, and the then taxi. the red. They actually just re released these not too long ago, about a year ago. They released not these, but the black ones that I'm talking about. And they released some red ones. They all red with like a little bit of white. And they, he had some laser ones that was limited. Oh, that was one pair and some white ones that was limited. But that colorway right there is probably the, probably the worst. Zoom Vix. Zoom Vicks. They are what they are. Exactly. Some little Atlanta Hawk kind of colorway. Atlanta Falcons. Atlanta Falcons, excuse me. Mm -hmm. That's where he was back in the day when he was killing it. ATL. Yep. He was just on ATL, too. Got the number seven. <laughs> the show. Right? There you are. These are all right. They got to go for sale. This is that size 12 yeah. with the original box. Let me know if you need these Vix. Yeah, I actually got the black pair that I was talking about. I just wanted one pair of Vicks because that was my dude, but that was it. I didn't go no further. So anyway, size 10. Got these Jordan 11 low. That's some heat though, low key. Yeah, these yeah. are in like good condition though. I was looking VNDS. Yeah, bottoms. They've been warm, but they like in good condition. Especially a white. Keep Tops a white shoe that white. Tops look yeah. mint from here. To only show a little dirt on just the bottom. Dirt on the bottom, but I can just clean them up. But these are ready to go, ready for sale. Though. That's that these prime size good. ten. The yeah, cherry. it's not much creasing either. Cherry eleven lows. Yeah, cherry eleven lows, man. So size ten is cool. So this should be an easy sale. Yeah. So let me know if you need them. If not, they're gonna be listed. Still get sold. So right. Those are getting more yeah. rare, especially in that hot fire condition. Yeah. Two pairs left on my side. Let's see what we got. This looks like an Ultra Boost. Let's check it out. Ultra Boost. Yeah, Ultra. I just saw some of them today, man. Actually, these looking. I don't know, triple white or cream or something yeah, like that. Yeah, I remember we got fooled by that before, man. I think those were like a cream or something. Right. Not the biggest boost heads. No. Me and Rock'em stock them, but. I know that these got the value, and I know that they're gonna sell well, gonna sell fast. They do. I'll check actually, them out. Actually, those, yeah, those actually sold when I had them. Them cream ones, they sold in like within a week, like if less than that. As soon as I listed them. So. That size 11 and a half, and That's they're very good, good use condition, barely worn, just worn a little tiny bit. Let me know if you need them. 11 and a half, Ultra Boost. Boosting? No, y'all need that colorway for the summer that's upcoming. Right. Boost lifers, love those. So, you got, so we down to one box a piece. One on one. We got jump man, jump man. You got nine and a half. Size nine and a half, more butter size. Let me do a peek. Okay, though. peek it, peek it. No, he well, he, I don't know how you Let's feel see. about these, but. You know, I, I see, off. I see. Yeah. That's a classic for sure. I'm it is a classic though. And these are in good condition. I actually just got a, a size eight pair in one of my last beater boxes. Same 
playoffs. He's come with the car, same ones, and pretty much the same condition, pretty good condition. That's like hot fire condition and barely rock. Yeah. So that's the way both of my playoffs that I had came. I got a size 8, and then I got a size 9.5 um, to sell. But these are cool, though, man. The playoffs are, are classic, mm -hmm. though. Definitely. To be honest with you. Always, I still like the interior because there wasn't too many. Most of the ages didn't have that on the interior. That's that funky. Uh, that's a that's funky very 90s interior. like interior. I know, right? So, size 9.5. I'm going to butter size. But he don't need them, so they going for sale. Let me know if you need them. Good condition. <laughs> for sure. All right. Throw them up top. To Throw wrap it up, last but not least, this looks like another big Jordan number 12 box. Oversized uh -huh. box, size 11 shoes inside, but plenty of space. Uh -huh. You can go swimming all I know, man. Inside. I just got a pair of those. DS. Come with these like this said, stupid plenty. filler. I don't understand why they did box. that, though. Whatever. That remind me, they had some Jordan 10s like some years back that had the big box like that, and it'd be a size 12 and a size 15 box. Right. And so on that BS. Yeah. But here we got some Jordan French 12s. Jordan Retro 12 French Blue. These are very good use condition. They're worn, but just a little bit. Just a little bit of rocks. Not even much dirt on them. You can tell they've been worn, but very good condition overall. French Blue 12s. Let me know if you need these. Size 11. Size 11. Wow. This is straight one. For sure. Thanks for tuning in to another sick, lit, beater box battle here on the Stone Cold Kicks channel. We're going to go ahead and slide into the off-feet heat portion. You go ahead and kick it off over there. Yeah, I'll, get, I'll get to it. Well, looking at my attire, I probably right gave y'all a hint of what I got on. Griffey. So these are the Griffey. Griffey heat. These are the fresh water. You'll see a few more of these, not this colorway, but different colors. And these, because I do have these. This is the newer release that came out, what, last, last year, I think it was. Uh, yeah, but um, these are the this is the best colorway to me. And these the Griffey the original. And these are the original Griffey Max. Cause they have uh, these the blue ones, the emeralds. So I got a few more colorways I bring to the channel. But I'm just wearing these with the Mariners hat and uh, jacket. Cause I was a big Griffey fan growing up. They you know they bulky, but they they still comfortable with that Air Max unit. These are these are just hot. They still hot. They came out with a lot of crazy colors, but you know I gotta keep it all. This swoosh straight up like that always tripped me out. That know. was. I, like that. I don't think it's too many Nikes like shoes that came out with that swoosh like that. No, there's not. And I did one of my favorite parts was that flaming uh, that ball on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Baseball. <laughs> that baseball on the bottom. That's just a, that was always always unique. And then uh, I like the uh, this is an Air Force One type strap kind of. You know what I mean? Mid as a mid and it has Nike on the inside. It was funny when these came out uh, in 2010, I had that release, but I smoked them. So, um, and I sold them and I wanted these. It was kids that didn't really know what these were and they thought this 24 was Kobe. They're like, are those Kobe's? They thought they were Kobe's with the 24. Kobe so, baseball joints. You know, some <laughs> people don't know. If you don't know, you don't know. All right. Yeah, and then that's the interior, 24 forever. So, uh, this is heat in my opinion. Um, these, this pair actually go for pretty high price, a decent price. Right. Because um, when they snuck up in yeah, the market, these on did. Because when they prices. came out, I didn't think they. I was like, man, maybe I can catch them on sale or whatnot, and uh, it backfired on me. And they like sold out, and it was hard to get. So that's my own feet. Right. That's that heat. And Griffey Max. I'll slide into something a little different. We don't really right. see too much. These are some foams. You got the sharpies. Sharpies. The yeah, black the and Royals, blues. Not the, I got the royals, right. but not the sharpies. Those yeah, these are, are just straight. like the royals, all blue, except for it got the added black stripes. And this came, this concept came from a game where Penny himself, he was wearing his shoes, but it was like against the colorway for the um, yeah. They were playing the against yeah. They were playing against Milwaukee, um, and it was like a. But he had to wear a black shoe, like it had to be black. He couldn't wear all blue shoes. Yeah, it couldn't be a majority blue shoe. Yeah. So he had to do something or he was like gonna face some some fines or some suspension possibly or something. Yeah. So I, he went back to the so locker to room the locker and he room. just took a Sharpie and he actually colored in his own shoe to make it look pretty much just like this. He just colored in parts of it so it wasn't solid blue, it was black and blue. So, you know, then it was no longer in violation. So then he could just rock them. So later on, they dropped these out of a two pack. Mm -hmm. And these are the Sharpie foams. Yeah, they did. Rocking they these. A little history. So those are straight. Because I remember I didn't I didn't know he did that um, in the pair. I think they were in the playoffs. That's why they had to do it. But um, it, it, it was unique. When I saw when I saw them, it's like funky looking. But they straight though. Yeah. Nobody straight. really has these. They're pretty rare. Yeah. And there's not any other foam posits with the it's not, tiger not stripe type of thing going on. 
And I like strikes. the bottom. The bottoms are a little bit yeah, lighter than the, than the other Royals that come out. Nice so. and icy, yep. And I think it shows the point. He had 41 points in that game that I was talking about. Okay, then 41 points when, when he had to throw on the Sharpies. He had yeah. a Sharpie of his own. Signature kicks. Yeah. He, he just got a coaching job, though, man. Memphis. With Memphis. That's that pretty was, yeah. dope. I just that's seen pretty that. dope. He just got Because that's the college he went to. And um, they always, back a few years back, they always wore pennies. Uh, they had Nike school. But they yeah. always wore pennies. But they don't really do it no more. They just wear regular I Nikes. I bet you they'll start it back I up. I bet so. you they'll start it back up. They'll be, they'll be back to wearing uh, mm -hmm. pennies again. Because yeah. those are Memphis colors, too. Not only Orlando This colors. might be my favorite phone positive. Yeah. I can't really think of any ones that I like. I know the Royals are my favorite, but if you th you know you throw the Sharpie in there, those look yeah, all right. Added though. element because them Royals, that's just a big blue yeah, block. Yeah, and they've showed they've came out what fifteen times, <laughs> right? Hell of times. This is so, a one time drop. A different. It's different than any other ones. So I fool with these Sharpie phones. You know how I do it. I feel you though. Yep. I like the little lace tips that come with them too. The little little metal, metal lace tips. Tip. Yeah, that's what's up. So thanks for tuning in. As always, to the Stone Cold Kicks channel, Mo Butters, Rock with Stock and Kicks. kicks. Doing these beater box battles. Until next time, keep it. Lit. <laughs>